The fighting in Syria grabs the headlines, but treating the wounded largely goes unnoticed as doctors and nurses work against long odds to save the wounded. But the conflict, coupled with sanctions, are causing the health sector to deteriorate. Lacking supplies, many provincial hospitals are no longer able to treat patients. But one public hospital in Damascus has managed to keep its doors open. Ali Ibrahim takes us there in this report. Mariam fell down the stairs today, breaking her leg. It is a day she will remember. But for the staff of Al Mushtahed Hospital, Mariam is just one of 1,200 patients who cross the doors of Damascus's central hospital every day. The hallways are cramped with people waiting to be checked, treated, or medicated. This has turned into the major medical facility in Damascus, and with more and more people seeking safety in the capital, already heavy strain on the hospital is growing. We toured the hospital with Dr. Aziz Haj Ali, the hospital's chief resident. Our camera is not always welcomed here. The doctor negotiates our way into the first patient's room. A young man in his 20s refuses to show his face. He lost an arm and a leg when a car bomb exploded in a busy street. He is just one of many. We are here in the intensive care unit for burns. We are swamped by patients coming from distant provinces where hospitals were destroyed were put out of service. Severe burns are caused by air raids or notorious Rebel Hill cannons or simply the use of roll oil extracted in lawless parts of eastern Syria. No matter how hard Syrians strive to avoid the war, the war catches up with them. Like Samah, a 10-year-old girl from Raqqa, now an ISIL stronghold. Her family don't want to be filmed. They fear reprisals once they return home. The free medical services in this hospital are a last resort for those who have lost everything. At the end of the day, Dr. Aziz shares his story. Unlike many of his colleagues, he chose to stay in Syria. A choice difficult to understand for many. Sure, traveling to Europe isn't hard for doctors. It's safe and the money is much better. But who will care for the 500 patients we have in this hospital? All the famous doctors have left and the situation is getting worse with sections as we can't buy spare parts for medical equipment nor Western medicine. As the public hospital, the sections are crippling us. Between keeping the ER on full alert all the time and attending to hundreds of severe cases, we're swamped. The coffee break is quickly interrupted when Dr. Aziz is called again to the trauma and emergency room. Eight people have been severely wounded by mortar shells fired on a residential quarter. In Damascus and its central hospital, this is just a day like any other. Ah, Abraham, CCTV, Damascus.